What's up guys, it's me, Jeremy. I know I talk a lot about unhealthy mechanics because they're a really important part of balance when it comes to League, but the one thing I pass up quite a bit is why there are so many unhealthy mechanics in the game. Why not just remove every single unhealthy mechanic and give everyone loads of counterplay? Well, there's actually a lot of valid reasons for that. Let's get started. So the first and most important thing to talk about is the variety of ways mechanics can be unhealthy. The first way something can be unhealthy is by lacking counterplay. The other is if it lacks outplay potential. The two are definitely pretty similar, but the main difference is that outplay potential is something that comes from your decisions and your actions as a player, while counterplay is something that comes specifically from mechanics in the game through either your champion or items or something like that, not your personal decisions and actions. Unhealthy mechanics that lack counterplay are flat out bad game design and probably should be removed completely because they do create a poor gameplay experience. However, things lacking outplay potential are actually quite necessary for the game. On one hand, look at something like Vi's ultimate. Not only is it ranged and targeted, if you get hit by it, there's absolutely nothing you can do. The ability has no counterplay whatsoever, other than to just not get in range, which really is not a valid form of counterplay. The skill is quite unhealthy and has led to some really unfair situations when Vi was a strong jungle pick solely for her ultimate. On the other hand, take a look at something like Warwick's ultimate. It lacks outplay potential because it's a ranged targeted ability, but you can still pick up a QSS or have an ally crowd control the Warwick during his ultimate to stop him. The ability does have counterplay to it, but it's impossible to outplay on your own without any tools to help you. It promotes an advanced level of gameplay, forcing you to deviate from your usual build or playstyle. The difference between the two is a bit complex, but hopefully you get the idea. The point I want to make is that mechanics that are unhealthy because they lack outplay potential, similar to Warwick's ultimate, are absolutely necessary to exist in the game. The reason is that these kinds of mechanics make a champion easy to play. If we take a look at the easy to play champions, they all have some kind of unhealthy mechanic in them, and that often tends to be a huge part of why they are easy to play. Warwick is easy because his ultimate and his Q are targeted abilities. Tarek is easy because his stun is targeted. Ramus is easy because his taunt is targeted. All of those abilities lack outplay potential, but none of them lack counterplay. As a result, they leave you with a champion that is extremely easy to play, that are easy because they have unhealthy mechanics in their kit. I believe this holds true for the majority, if not all of the champions in the game that can be classified as easy to play. Having champions in a MOBA that are easy to play is very, very important for the overall gameplay experience. Not only does it drastically improve the options for beginners, it also makes it so that players who have poor mechanical skill can play the easier champions but still perform really well through strategy and gameplay decisions. And it also gives players with poor connections some better options, although that is a little bit less relevant and usually isn't something you would balance the game with in mind. And at the same time, it doesn't result in champions that are overpowered, at least most of the time. Because while these champions might lack outplay potential, they also have a hard time capitalizing on the outplay potential of their opponents. They tend to have linear kits reliant on avoiding the counterplay that exists. If you cleanse a Warwick ult or a Tarek stun or a Ramus taunt, those characters are going to have a much smaller impact in the fight. And taking a look at their kits, they probably aren't going to do anything if you counterplay those key abilities. And that's really good. They lack outplay potential, but if you find the proper counterplay, it's almost impossible for them to turn around and outplay you. So in that sense, the outplay potential they have on their opponents is ridiculously low since they don't have a lot of tools to work with, and are all so reliant on their abilities that lack outplay potential succeeding, to where if they don't succeed, they just get wrecked. And this concept tends to make those kinds of champions balanced. It might be hard to outplay them, but it's also hard, if not impossible, for them to outplay you if you happen to find the right counterplay. In that sense, not only are unhealthy mechanics that lack outplay potential necessary for the game, they're totally okay, and in fact pretty damn balanced, and that's such a cool aspect of the design in League. And with that in mind, we might even start to think of them as healthy mechanics in a way at least, for the depth that they add to the game. Anyways, what do you think about unhealthy mechanics? Leave a comment, and thanks for watching!
Well, far along the way 